Community Transplant Center is a multi-organ transplant center anchored at Virginia Commonwealth University. Its mission is to serve patients, educate transplant professionals, and enhance research and discovery in the field of transplantation. VCU's Humley Transplant Center is one of the nation's, indeed the world's oldest transplant centers. First founded in 1957 with a kidney transplant by David Hume, who's a legendary figure uh, in the field of organ transplantation. Our transplant center offers multi-organ transplantation across the broad range of, uh, of organs that are transplanted. Heart, liver, kidney, pancreas, pancreatic islet cells, live donor liver transplant, live donor kidney transplant, and we're developing lung transplantation. The unique thing about kidney transplant program is that we are very patient-centered. Patient is first. The one thing which I'm really excited about this program is that we are, every single day, we are trying to do things to increase access to transplantation for patients through cutting-edge technology. Our liver transplant team is consistently in the top 10 in the nation in terms of volume and quality, and I'm enormously proud of that. We're what I would consider to be one of the least risk adverse uh, groups. We wanna offer this therapy to as many people as possible. I think traditionally there's been a lot of ways um, to say no to people, and I think that it, the really refreshing thing about Humley is that we're, we're trying to say yes. We're doing things that I don't think anyone else in the country is doing. Um, certainly with our robotic program, we do um, fully robotic living donor liver transplant. We do fully uh, robotic kidney transplants and kidney transplant donors. Uh, and, and those are really unique things. We also are refining our care. So we do these surgeries a little bit faster and a little bit safer than I think most places. Yes, I think robotic surgeries can change the world, especially in the transplantation. In the human transplant center, we can provide a much more innovative technique to the, our patient, and then you can give some more best outcome and then the less complication after transplantation and then donor surgery. We really started living the liver transplant program back in 2019. Since then, our number of the living donor liver transplantation has grown every year. Our surgeons have great experience about the living donor liver transplantation. Between two of our surgeons, over 1,000 living donor liver transplantation has been done. Also, in 2023, this year, we started fully robotic uh, liver surgery for living donors, which has been done only a few centers around the world. Here at VCU, we have a long history with treating patients with um, heart failure. And the options that we can provide patients with heart failure are either an assist device, and when they don't meet criteria for it, we can also offer them um, heart transplantation if they're the right candidate for that. The opportunity for very high risk patients, we don't shy away from that. We do dual organ transplantation, either whether it be a kidney, a liver, and we provide that for them. I first met Ms. Moore in clinic when she was being evaluated for um, heart transplantation. And what I noticed was in Ms. Moore a desire to live. She's um, had congenital heart surgery and had multiple surgeries to help fix um, the problems of her heart. And over the years, despite the prior surgeries that she had, the heart continued to fail. And not only was her heart failing, her liver had, um, was failing as well. As a child with a congenital heart uh, condition, I was not able to be very active. After the Fontan, uh, things uh, were better. I was able to be more physically active. The Fontan worked really well for about 15, 15 to 20 years. And uh, about seven years ago, I found out that I would need to have a, a heart transplant. I feel wonderful now. It makes me think that um, anything is possible that I can, you know, do uh, travel and spend time with family and, and um, you know, meet goals that I was never even able to think about before. For someone who's waiting on a transplant, I'd, I'd like to say that, um, you know, it's a, it's a scary process. It's, it's a big deal. There are a lot of emotions involved, but it's so, so worth it in the end to be able to get up every day and, and live your life and feel healthy and it's, it's a really wonderful feeling. 
a program with this kind of longevity and history really lends itself to innovation. It's almost impossible to exist that long without constantly examining what you're doing, trying to improve it, and trying to take this kind of life-saving therapy that we do to the next level. We have an extraordinary team, and everyone's dedicated to this really wonderful, life-saving therapy that we offer people. We're absolutely laser-focused on saving your life when you, when you come to us. That's, that's all we're thinking about.